So listen, it's your boy. I'm back at the books in here. Now listen, my shine on I've been on fire. Fire. There's so much stuff I want to talk about that I'm going to break it down simply. The thing you need to do with yourself today, when you listen to this, ask yourself, my life is, and you finish it. Because the thing is, your life is a sum of your experiences, right? So now, since a it, since it is a sum of your experiences, your life is either going to be good, bad, mediocre, partial, uh, fulfilled, successful, unsuccessful failures, uh, successions of things that you've accomplished. Yet, do we ask ourselves, what does our life truly consist of? Or am I consistent in the things I'm doing in my life? With that being said, something was shutting down was showing me when I was leaving out the house this morning, getting up, you know, I'll be up at no 30, whatever, getting ready to go to work, right? So I'm walking to the truck, and shout out, bam, just jumped on your boy, like, get it. And God asked me, this. he said, how come we will take so much time to separate ourselves from things that God wants us away from, but when he's blessing us with something, we want to take, we, we, we relax and getting away from the stuff, but we won't speed up to get to the things he has for us. If that makes sense to y'all, let me get a little clarity. You got the job you want. But all of a sudden now, you want to be late to work. This is what you pray for, you ask for. You're like, Jesus let me have this job. He gives it to you. You're like, what? You got it. But you're showing up late to work. You ain't performing as you should. But this person who you don't need in your life or you don't want in your life and you're tired of, you still grasp and hold to them. They can leave. You find a way to get them back in the house or you find a way to get back to their house. You find a way to keep them in your life. And God has clearly shown you this is what's supposed to be going on. But you keep pulling back. It's supposed to be doing this. You keep pulling them back. So he was like, separation is a powerful thing. He said, and we're so quick to separate ourselves from him that we don't recognize what we need to do. Instead of holding on to him, we need to separate ourselves from the things that difference or distance ourselves that try to bring us away from God. That's my phone ring. We're going to let it ring on the couch, y'all. I forgot. I forgot to put it on me, whatever. But we got to keep this going because this is what's in my spirit right now. So with that being said, look forward to getting up in the morning and being about God's business. Because this is what he showed me. This is something that makes a lot of sense to me. So, you got a plan. You pray on it, you give it up to God. Because <clears throat> in, the, in the Bible, it's a verse that says, be still and know that, I'm a, that I am God. Now, I'm praying this morning. I'm praying. That's what I do early morning. But when I'm praying, I'm listening. See, I get up and we walk. I walk for 20, 30 minutes in the morning and I listen. We talk. When I come up, when I'm on my knees and I'm praying, I listen. See, this is my time to be, shut up, boy, let me talk. That's what God be like. It's my turn. You did what you want to do this morning. You all make all these requests. All, like it's an answer request hour, prayer hour, do your thing. So I'm listening. So while I'm listening this morning, what he was showing me is this. He said, when that verse says, be still and know that I'm God, he said, when you ask for something specific, say you say you want a specific time. Okay, let's make it easy. You want a, uh, uh, a 2020 Benz AMG 53. It's a minimum of $100,000 before they started. Just so, you know, I'm just, we're not playing with little stuff. We talking about God here, right? We, uh, so y'all get it. So, he said, be still to know that I'm God. So, what he's doing is preparing that car for you. What you got to be doing is preparing yourself for that car. Hold on. The verse said, be still to know that I'm God. I'm supposed to sit here. No, you're not. Be still to know that he's God, that he's going to give you what you ask for. But it also means now it's time for you to move. Because if you ain't got no job, you don't have no income, you can't afford to pay for this car, then how do you expect God to bless it with you? So you got to realize, okay, God, show me how to get in position. Pastor Martuan said this Sunday, and my pastor, him and Pastor Sean, they're amazing. I love my pastor, just so y'all know that. He said this. He said, while you're waiting for the vision, God, what am I to be doing? Ooh, y'all wasn't ready. Y'all wasn't ready. But what he said made so much, it's so relevant because while you're waiting for God to bring this to pass, God, what is my position? What should I be doing? So while you're waiting for this car for God to bring you, you're supposed to be making sure you make, you remember, you got enough money coming in, that you should make sure that you can afford this vehicle, that you can have insurance on this vehicle, that you can maintain and keep it up and cover it and do what's necessary. So he's going to put you into the position to do such a thing. What you'll find out is that you've already got the financial resources to do all this stuff. The problem is you squander money here and there. You bet. Uh, uh. Money all over the place. You just... Uh, Money go on, money go, money go. That's what you're doing. Instead of taking the money and saying, okay, you're putting the money back into yourself. Think about it. Whatever you spend every week, buying lunch at work, 
uh, the little items that you buy, you may not realize when you spend two or three dollars here, three or four dollars on frivolous stuff. That money could be going towards the gifts that you want for yourself or the trinkets or toys, whatever you decide that you really want to have in your life. God has already prepared you and blessed you with it. All he's saying is be a better steward over what I've given you. Whether it's finances, whether it's your gift, whether it's an understanding, whether it's your household, be a better steward. Uh, if it's just keeping yourself together, keep your mind, keep yourself groomed, be a better steward. If it's about reading his word, be a better steward. It's about giving, be a better steward. In other words, do what you're supposed to do to make things happen according to him. Not you, not you, because you only here because of him just so you understand. Him, you, that's why you. Let's make it easy. So listen, these are just a few things that was in Mashana. Now, it's more, y'all. It's more, y'all. It's more relationship stuff that he got. This Mashana now be going, uh, 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 uh. It's just on fire. So listen, I love y'all. Y'all know the book. Y'all got to go on there. Y'all got to get a copy. Y'all got to share this stuff with people, man, so they can like and subscribe. This is a blessing in itself, but he's a blessing more than anything. So listen, be blessed, stay peaceful, love God, and real life, my life is, you finish that question.